today we're doing a teddy bear head again on this baby girl right here. Her mama wants it uh, short to medium, so we're gonna use a, a one comb on the top and O comb on the bottom. And so right now I am tipping the ears, so what you'll do is take a 10 over the tops, a 40 on the insides. Make sure you hold those ears with your fingers. Um, so hold the ear skin between the fingers and make sure you don't go all the way to the ear skin with the blade because you don't want to cut the ear. They cut very easily. So it's just a real quick tip. Now I got my one comb on and I'm taking it with the hair, following the hair growth, combing the hair with a guide comb, getting off all that length. And now I'm going to do the cheeks and the bottom. So I'm going to grab a longer comb because I want it to be a little bit fluffier on the cheeks and the beard area. I want it to look nice and round. So I'm just going to go over it real good with this comb so it just takes away all that scissor work, or most of the scissor work. I'll just lightly go over it with scissors after this. Now I'm taking my comb, comb the bangs forward. I like to start here. So comb the bang forward, trim the bangs. Not too short, but don't leave them too long. Most people like them, you know, right there, pretty short. So they're not hanging over into the eyes. And now um, I like to trim the ears pretty short so I will fold them between my fingers so I don't so I'm protecting the ear with my finger and trimming the edges with the scissors and so the ear is completely safe covered by my fingers and I'm just trimming the edges of the ears I want to uh, make two nice triangles up here they're supposed to have just a few little sprigs here and there on the ears but nice even lines and uh, my little angles up here and then I do like to get the inside a little bit because some of the hairs are hard to get when you fold them so you want to kind of just hold that ear up and get the insides of the long hair that's on the inside of those ears and so I will actually comb down and forward the bottom here and trim up and down and comb all the beard and mustache forward trim all that stuff that's hanging past the nose area And it's time to do the cheeks, sides of the face, so you just comb it up and stay with the growth of the hair and scissor off all those little hairs that the guide comb missed. Comb up a couple times so to make sure you get all that hair nice and even. And I'm just taking the thinning shears over a couple times. I want it to look natural, no lines at all. I'm thinning the front by the mouth with my thinners as well. Coming up this side, staying with the hair growth. You can kind of see I'm holding it a little bit different. Trying so you can see the um, the view of this. I'm holding a little bit different, but you do have to work around the dog. Just however you can get to it safely. And so after I scissor, then I will come up and do the thinners. And I want to get this top part that's above the nose trimmed so it doesn't hang past the nose. And then I'm gonna take the thinners and thin the top of the nose and get all that hair that's gonna stick up in front of the eyes. And then we're about done. Finished up looking super cute with her bows. Couldn't do without those. This is Lauren at Posh Dog House. Thanks for watching.